Welcome, beautiful people who are uh, watching uh, watching us. Thank you for being with us. And before I run again my voice course, Unleashing Your Authentic Feminine Voice for Power and Impact from the 20, from the 14th of February, sorry, I would like to bring more voices to the online space, to my online fireplace. And one of my dear members of the tribe is Angela Anderson, who, who I can call a friend. So thank you, Angela Anderson, for uh, accepting this invitation. Angela is an, is an empowerment, intuitive empowerment coach for women. Thank you, Angela. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good, mostly. You know, we've got some things going on in the background of my life with my oh, family yeah. and health and so forth. But I always get lit up when I talk to you. It's just such a blessing. So I'm thrilled to be having this conversation. Thank you. Thank you for 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 saying this, and it's the same here. You're saying like lit up. I I like e smile till the ear, <laughs> and so it's been pretty much the case since we are in the same program. We are learning together. We ended, we are in the same mentorship program, and honestly, Angela, I get so much warmth warmth from you, and so much wisdom and the feedback that you are giving to me. So my first question would be, what kind of voice issues? did you have or what kind of issues around expressing yourself through the voice you had before we worked together? Yeah, thank you. I will say, I feel like I have so many <laughs> and I'm still working through them as well. I mean, there are the physical aspects of voice, like things that have changed for me as I've gotten older. You can hear I've got some, I live in a place where I have a lot of allergies. And so that's a piece of it. Sometimes I recognize that even during the day when I'm having conversations with my family, my voice changes and gets small and comes, it becomes higher in and in like physically in a higher place. Um, and so there just, there are lots and lots of those pieces. And I think also one of the things that was coming up this morning when I was thinking about having this conversation with you is that my mom really always wanted to be a singer. So she would sing in the house, which I loved. And my daughter is in, actually has a choir concert tonight. Mm -hmm. And so she's a singer. But when I was younger, I don't know, somebody told me I wasn't a very good singer. And so I just shut that part. I love to sing. And I just shut that part down. I also want to say that your, your class is not just about singing. If it had been about singing, honestly, I wouldn't have joined because singing scares me. <laughs> I know, and you are not not alone with this. <laughs> yeah, and so and so that was. I feel like there were so many issues I could go on all day, but I'm going to stop and and see what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's very interesting because I was thinking that many of the listeners can connect to many issues that you have just been mentioning, like the the changing voice with the changing age. I think I am also one of them, a woman in, in my late 40s. And also the generational line and the music in it, it's very interesting because in my way, I think uh, the way I see song and voice, uh, the physical voice itself, it's a very, it's like a, a connection super tool. So I have like students and clients throughout this year even just who has healed the relationship with the mom and with the daughter through singing or through just the voice work so I think it's beautiful that you you brought this up and I didn't even know because during the class it didn't come up so I'm really happy that you mentioned this so, well, I, so I, I something else that I want to bring up in case anybody else if this is helpful for anybody else not that they would have this specific condition but I have um, had a medical condition called torticollis and mm -hmm. so it really impacts the symmetry of my face and how my lips move and how my mouth moves. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that I really felt was incredibly helpful um, from you and from your class. I mean, there are just so many different layers of what's happening. So before I, I before I jump into all of the great amazing things that I learned, yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> you can go on. Yes, it's so great. It's so flowing and <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think so. There were so many things for me, and one of the on so many different levels. And I think that's something that is really important for me to share is that this is a any of the work that we do. We've we've done private work and we've done work in the group. And any of the work that we do, is it about voice? 
yes, but it's beyond the voice, right? Because for me, what I feel like the voice is the resonance, like it's the external resonance of our soul expression. Yeah, wonderful. That's that's exactly what I think. Thank you for saying it. Yeah. And so we have this kind of mechanical voice that we use, but it's really how other people see and experience us. Mm. And it's not just about the mechanics of the voice, right? It's about this deeper connection with ourselves. What is it that we're here to express? How are we holding ourselves back? And who are we really here to be? And what is the what are the tools that we have? in order to be that person. And one of the strongest tools that we have, I mean, I'm a writer, so I tend to write things down and that's one expression of voice, but it's not the same as other people feeling the resonance of who we are through our vocal expression. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had tears in my eyes because, you know, being understood by a person at, at that deep level is just like, it it makes all kind of body sensations in me and i'm i cannot be like i cannot have a bigger heart now and if i would be there i would just hug you because i think it's so important that you mentioned that the physical voice and the voice in a symbolical sense like my own voice in a symbolic sense these two are deeply intertwined in my class in my teaching material because i cannot imagine talking about physical voice without mentioning the deeper layer of, you know, of our soul, as you're saying, and the other way around. So my, you know, my deepest and my main, all my main transformation in my life, starting from coming from a tiny little village, being half gypsy, going through divorce, et cetera, et cetera, happened through the voice. Because I spent my last, I don't know, four decades in the realm of voice. So I know I know a lot about that because it's a singing and songwriting work and stage work, but then something more interesting came into my life and working like, like with women like you, it's like, it goes way beyond, you know, what voice can do beyond songs and beyond performing. It's more like service from this, you know, from this place of heart to heart. And so the, I, you know, I was really listening to you and I was, starting to regulate myself, but still my tears came out <laughs> they came out because wow, well, being being understood and and you know tuned in, it's it's a really nice thing to get. So and I and I think it might be useful for anyone who is interesting, interested to to do this voice work, you know, in on a deeper level, I think it can be a very, very nice thought. And you can you can also say you can comment this and you can also say other transformations that I will. Well, one thing I would like to say is that because I don't consider myself somebody who I, I'm not a singer, I don't focus on I don't use my voice in a lot. I mean, I do videos and I meet with clients and, and that kind of thing. But one of the things that you really helped me with, thank you, was that I had um, done some writing I had written something that I needed to share in a public space. And when I first did it, I got a lot of feedback from everybody. The writing was amazing, but <laughs> the telling of it <laughs> was not. And my miter, writer's mind is always just about the written word versus the vocal expression of it. And so you were really instrumental in helping me learn how to how to share it in a way that was much more engaging, right? So this is not this is not a class just about just for people who want to sing or who are have greater aspirations in terms. It's really it's just for any of us, and that, and that pretty much includes everybody who felt like when they were younger in some capacity that they were not good enough or their voice was not meaningful or it was not meant to be shared, right? Yeah. And I know this place very much, you know, I'm, I was playing small. So that's, you know, I'm a, I'm a half gypsy girl from a tiny Hungarian village. And now I'm teaching this material for the world. And it was really a voice helped me, helped me to go through this transition of being a small little girl from the marginal, marginal space of the, of the world, and then going bigger and bigger. So I can, I can be really uh, empathic and, and empathizing with this thought that you are just saying that that 
someone who think that my voice used to used to be nicer or used to be bigger or my voice can be better or it could could have been better at one point or i don't like my voice so i i have a collection of all kinds of the wording that people are saying about their own voice and this is just so beautiful that i've been through all of this and the the amount of love that that is created in those classes around the online fire space, fireplace is just helping people to see that these are thoughts around the voice. And in the moment we are going into the physical practice, because I am learning by doing, hashtag learning by doing. So in the moment we are doing these exercises, and also you, I, I remember this exercise when I gave you feedback and you made it again. Uh, I think it it's just takes away all the thoughts, all the meanings of the world, and then you go really into the sound, how your voice sound. Also, in a you you wrote an origin story, and so how does it sound? Does it sound like a song? Can you sing this like if it would be a song? to the camera, to the online space. And as I said, voice is a connection super tool. So I think you made a wonderful job in your second and third iteration. So it was so nice for me to see. Thank you. Yeah, I really I really wish, Bea, that there was a, a word beyond voice because mm -hmm. the, the word voice does not describe what the transformation is, right? So- yeah. I will hold that space for you that we find a new word. <laughs> we find a new word so that so that anybody who's seeing this can really understand, not even understand, just receive, right? Receive the opportunity for becoming who they're really here to be by sharing that with other people in their spoken or sung words. Mm, it's so beautiful you mentioned this and you know I have a dear friend Dr. Gabor Mati who was a big inspiration for me to, to go in global with this teaching material and he kept saying to me in the last 10 years of our friendship that Belle when do you when do you give your voice to the world like how, when do you find your own inner voice which can go beyond Hungary so it was like really why you were talking and saying this last piece of your thoughts he came to my mind as well that how big inspiration he was for me and finding our own voice it means so much you keep it keep using this expression but how what is the depth of this expression like how many layers it has it is just always amazed me like each time i teach a class i i find something new and i find some new ways to, to say to people so also with you i mean i see you so big and you know your work is like so I mean, you 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 make a beautiful, beautiful um, intuitive coaching also to me and to others, and and still, I mean, you can you can get things from my class. It was so, you know, so deep and so so nice to have as a. It was, I would say, profound, right? The level of connection that you facilitate everyone, <clears throat> each of the participants, students having with themselves is is profound and nurturing and nourishing in a way that most of us as women don't give ourselves the time. Like we're so busy taking care of everyone else, whether that's in our profession or in our personal lives, our families, that that what you offered was really a sacred space for us to really step into our authentic selves. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, was like, I could say words but like I just show that it was that that's what happening here so thank you Angela it's really warming up my heart your presence here and thank you for sharing all these thoughts and uh, everyone who was just who were just here with us um, you can you can click on Angela's work we can drop the link of, of your sites and I'm also waiting for you with big open hearts and open lips also to sing all these vocalizations and, and songs. So thank you, Angela, for, for being here and sharing your wisdom. Thank, thank you for your incredible presence and gifts. Thank you. Thank you.